Hey everybody, Tarvis Plays here, and welcome to Terraria 1.4. Uh, this is a few, almost a week after it's gone out. Um, haven't had much time to play recently, um, but we're going to go ahead and record an episode here. Um, so we're going to start over completely new because this is a classic character, and we don't want that. So let's go ahead and choose our character here. As you can see, the character um, screen has been rehauled completely to be much more user-friendly. Um, and I want to make this a journey mode. Um, so I want to kind of get the world to a place where I can make tutorials pretty easily, since this is the pseudo creative mode. Um, so let's design our character real quick. Um, so you can see, it looks like there's several different options for um, what your male or female can look like, which I kind of like the vest and get some different types of hair here. Uh, let's see, much easier to pick um, now that you can see them all at once and just be like, oh, I want this one. Um, I don't want a beard, though. So let's choose... I'll just go with the old standby. That's what I almost always choose. Um, I do not see a place to alter the hair color. Was that on... It must be on a different page. Oh, it's on this one, okay. Make him have dark brown hair. Some kind of darkish hazel eyes. Skin tone is a little bit red. Make him a little lighter. Um, and this is the vest. So I wanna have a kind of dark blue vest and a white shirt. There we go, I like that. Make him have some dark blue jeans. And some... Uh, let's go with some darker boots. I kind of like that. Maybe I'll make this a, a more brown color. Like a... Uh, there we go. Uh, it's kind of a dirty brown. There we go. I kind of like that. All right, so oh, that's cool. You can use a hex number for it. Nice. Um, so yeah, I think that's good. Let's create this character. As you can see, we're now in journey mode. And let us favorite that guy and play. We're going to create a new world here because there's so much different stuff you can do. Um, let's choose a small world. Choose journey. We'll uh, keep it... Let's do Corruption. I kind of like Corruption better. Um, the name of our world is Comfortable Vault of Taxes. And this is our seed if you want to play. Um, so let's go ahead and make sure we select Journey here and Create. Um, I have a bird's nest on my head. So in Journey mode, you get to start out with a lot of uh, different stuff. This is the first time of me playing it. Give me my mini-map. Um, so we're just going to explore a little bit here. As you can see, we already have a summoning familiar. That's what the bird on my head is. Um, nice. The finch staff. Oops. Press E. I'm so used to, I've been playing Rust, so tab has been inventory. So seven summoning damage. Pretty nice. Research one more to unlock duplication. Nice. Um, so it looks like we can... Um, that's your achievements, nice. And I like the new layout for the health and stamina, or health and mana, it makes it pop out more. And we have wings, so um, one of the things you start out with is wings. It looks like these aren't like fantastic, of course. Um, but let's go ahead and open here. Can of worms, let's just loot it all. Um, oh, my finch just killed a slime. Nice. So we have a wand of sparking, which is cool. So that's some uh, mana right there. And um, I'm not sure how you do the research thing. Let's see. Oops. Uh, there we go. Very not used to playing Terra, except I've been playing Rust recently. Um, let's head on down here. See if there's not something just really close in. I like these new little vines, so they shake when you walk past them too. That's pretty cool. 
Um, and with these wings, we can actually explore caves a lot easier. Um, since you don't take fall damage with them, it's not too difficult to just explore haphazardly drop down. Um, so as you can see, this is more of a uh, adventure, like, creative mode than it is a survival mode. Um, I don't really care about duplicating hearts, um, so I'll just keep moving on here. Whoa. That was close. Keep heading down here. There's another heart. Nice. Fast start here. Um, do that. Keep going. So there's some sand. Oh, we're reaching lava and an antlion den. Nice. Alright, I'm not really ready to go down there, so let's kind of just head back up. Actually, I have a return potion. I swear I'm going to stop pressing tab one of these times. And uh, let's start on our house. So as you can see we start off with iron tools, um, not copper. So we have a little bit of what in the world is that? It's like a slime with a slime balloon. That's crazy. That's crazy. Little leaves come off whenever I start to hit this. this man, this update's really cool. Um, so let's mine out this little area so that our house can be flush with the ground. And we do start off with a hammer too, so we can just get rid of these background tiles. Just like that. Uh, let's see. So I'm not sure. Oh, there's a bestiary. Nice. Not sure how the research works. I don't see anything for it here, so maybe we need to craft a workbench first. Amethyst gem corn. No idea what that is. Hey, bench. Um, we'll place it down over here. And let's access it and see what's going on. Power menu. So this is the uh, journey mode menu that where you can turn multiple things. Like we can make it rain or we can choose the time to anything we want. Or I can freeze it to just daytime if we want. Ah, so here's the research menu. So if we take 100 torches and we research it, now we'll be able to duplicate torches. Now we have a full stack of torches. So that is super helpful for being like a creative mode um, situation um, like I can research this spawn one back in and now we have a limited of those pretty cool um, so is there anything else that we could potentially do that with I think we'll need a hundred wood yeah so let's chop down a couple more trees and get enough wood to duplicate it and we'll build our little starter home here. Um, nothing too fancy yet, but eventually we'll get to the point where we can make something super fancy if we wanted to. And the music in the background, man, it's, they updated and it's just fantastic. It's so peaceful, so relaxing. Um, let's see, have we gotten 100 yet? We have. So let's research that. Just throw it in there. It doesn't matter if we have too much because we're going to do a full stack right now. So that is nice. Um, let's build this little starter home. And there is um, specifics um, that the NPCs like. Um, I'm not too sure like what they are yet, because obviously I have just started. I'm going into this almost completely blind. Um, because I wanted to see, like, firsthand. Let me make this a little lighter. Um, kind of how crazy it is, because I've heard from friends, people who haven't played Terraria in years have started playing it and really enjoying it. There we go. That looks good enough. Not really too worried. Um, so we're going to craft a couple doors. 
Two doors. Two chairs. Table and some wood wall. Uh, let's just go ahead and get enough to research it. Um, one, one, and one. Okay. That way we just never have to make it again. We can just pull it out of this creative menu. Um, research, 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 research. Okay, so if you have extra, it just gets put back into your um, inventory. That's cool. That's about all we're gonna need. We need two tables, chair, and two more doors. And that should be enough for this. Oops, I miscalculated that. Let's grab this wood. Now we'll put the doors in. And it looks like I can build a block higher than I used to be able to. Either that or I've just been not building high enough the whole time. So let's throw this down. It's another slime with a balloon. Oh, and the balloon pops. That's funny. Oh, sorry, bunny. Threw those walls right on you. There we go. Just our quick basic starter house to get a starter NPC going. And we can just trash these now. So place that down. Place that down. Table. Table. I think on this mode you do have increased reach. Yeah, increased placement range. Yeah, okay. So I wasn't going crazy. So let's grab these torches and... Is it just like anywhere I can reach or is there a limit to it? There's a, there's definitely a limit to it, but it's pretty, pretty dang far. Place that there, and now if we do our house thing, if I put these torches up, yep, housing suitable. So we'll assign a guide to one of these, and oop, get him, Finch. There you go. We'll get him sorted for the next thing. Um, so I need two of those, two more of those, 15 more of those, 50 more of those, 99 more of those, 99 more of those, one more of those. Let's go ahead and research that too. Research that. Is there anything else we can research just real quick here to get out of my inventory? Um, I can research this. I don't think it's going to give us the altar that we want. Okay. We want that. We want this to be mostly vanilla. Um, besides the ability to spawn and stuff. Okay. So let's... Um, oh yeah, let's do these. I didn't do those yet. And I'm not going to need them since I have these wings. Um, so let's keep flying up here collecting what we can on our way. It's a balloon in the background. Some cactus. Maybe some sand blocks. Just go over here. Make the stuff that we can. Um... Scorpion. No, oh, come back here. Yeah. There we go. Oof. Don't have enough mana. Ooh, it's a big tree. I like to call it the world tree. There's several of them. Is this a new biome? Might be a new biome. Let's see, we got a heavy umbrella. Nice. Um, let's just loot all real quick. I swear I'm gonna stop pressing E one of these days. 
research that. I don't really want it in my inventory right now. I need 20 more iron, 100 more of that, 100 more of that, 100 more of that, 15 more of that. Okay, so let's keep going then. Um, actually, sometimes there is... Ah, yes, a room here. Whoa. If I just walk up to the doors, it opens it. Nice. So, leaf wand. So that allows us to uh, place leaves. And this allows us to place living wood. Angel statue. Nice. Let's loot all the rest of this. Let's exit out. Go to our research menu here. And we'll research that. Research this. Dunk on that. Let's see, 30 more health potions. I can duplicate angel statues for whatever reason. 30 more of those, okay. Let's grab all of this. Um, e. So I bet all furniture only takes one to be unlocked. That would make the most sense to me. Oh, there's water up there. Alright, well, it seems like it's getting nighttime. Got more rope? I do not need more rope. Minus. I just wanted to see if there's another one or if it's just a two tree world for some reason. Which it looks like it is. <laughs> There we go. Spark him out a little bit. Let's stick through this. Hey, that uh, zombie has a torch. That's pretty cool. Just fly over these, see what we got going on. So the corruption is over here. It's nice to know. Um, I don't think there's anything in the corruption that we would be wanting to get. Maybe the ebon wood, but... Uh, probably not. Let's uh, just dive down here real quick and see if there's anything. Spin our axe around on these uh, things. These little jars of flesh or whatever. And I only have four bombs. I don't think that's enough to get to that one. See if there's one down here I could get too easily. Uh, yeah, maybe. Ooh, there's a heart too. Nice. So let's throw those bombs. Is that a small explosion that will spread dirt? That's pretty cool. Oh, drop. Okay, good. There we go. And now we can use our hammer. Break that. Oh, we get a musket and a musket ball. Nice. Ooh, that's a cool little effect on the star. And there's a yellow kite right there. What's that? So you definitely can become kind of OP real quick here. Um... Depending on how you play. Kites can be flown in windy, run, windy days. Okay, cool. Seems pretty useless. Oh, I just triggered Google for some reason. Um, I don't think there's anything else that we can research right off the bat here. So I need 200. No, I think I think that's only yeah. So now I can grab a musket out of here. Let's uh throw this away because I already researched that. And get a stack of musket balls. There we go. And now we already have a gun with unlimited ammo. Nice. Um, so let's place a, we don't really need a chest, 
unless we're saving things up to research them. Um, so I, I think I'll, I'll place a chest. Let's kill these zombies. Open. All right, corrupt campfire. That's cool. All right, guys. Well, I think that's a pretty, <laughs> pretty dang good start for our first night. Uh, we already got a gun. We already killed a corrupt orb. Um, so that's very OP. Anyways, guys, my name's been Tarvis Plays. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>